Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I'd go through some great job interview fragrances and also some not so great job interview fragrances because there are many. So the first fragrance that I don't really think is uh, the best um, fragrance to wear if you're going on a first job interview or even a first date if I'm gonna be uh, honest. But this is a little bit more uh, appropriate for dates. But in a job interview I would not wear this fragrance and this is the original uh, Dior Homme original and uh, this one is of course a fantastic fragrance in my opinion, but this one serves a specific purpose. It's a very cozy fragrance. It's a very polarizing scent because of, of course, the iris and the sweeter notes that not everyone love. I've heard girls especially say that this smells disgusting, which uh, is, um, it's not so fun to hear when you love it yourself, but what can you do? And of course, the general population might think that this is a little bit overwhelming and it's not so fresh. So I wouldn't recommend this on a job interview. Another fragrance that I would not recommend is a super super casual salty fragrance and that one is Dolce Gabbana light blue intense. Don't wear this on a job interview or on a workplace. Why you might ask because this is generally too laid back. It's not formal, it's not, it doesn't have an authority type of smell, it doesn't smell serious in my opinion, it doesn't smell put together. It's a very laid back type of fragrance that you guys know suitable for the beach only. Okay, but what what sh what should I wear, Max? The most appropriate fragrance I would say if you are in a high budget is Creed Aventus. This is fantastic to wear in a workplace. It doesn't matter what type of uh, job you are uh, looking for. This goes well in every situation that you need to present yourself in a very positive and clean and fresh type of manner. This one I usually wear and you don't want to stick out in a bad way. This is very clean and fresh and easy to like even though you're not a fragrance enthusiast. Another fragrance that is uh, really good I think that you can also wear on a first job interview or uh, first workplace is Dior Homme. 2020, not the old one, because this is really far from Dior Homme original. For all you guys who have tried this one, you know that this is super easy to love, super easy to like, and both women and men enjoy this scent. How do does this smell? This smells super grown up. Uh, if you're over 30, you can wear this easily as your favorite signature scent. It's one of my favorite signature scents. And it's very woody, very fresh and citrus-like. No one would um, not appreciate this scent. Another fragrance that is fantastic, fantastic to wear, of course, Office for Men is a great fragrance. Still to the office and the first job interview. Very serious smelling, very fresh, very clean and pro and Brox and Bomb. But don't overspray this. I would uh, recommend that you spray maximum of two sprays of this one because you don't want to overwhelm the interviewer on the workplace that you're applying for a job. Another one in the same direction as the Freshies that is a little bit more high end. But you, if you have the money, this is a very nice fragrance. And um, this is this is called uh, Blue Sahara and um, it's from Moresk Parfums and this one, can you focus? Uh, fantastic bottle, luxurious, very fresh, clean, reminds me a little bit of course of uh, Creed Aventus but this one has a better longevity in my opinion. Of course it's a little bit um, more expensive but if you want to have a luxury fragrance, clean, fresh. Another one that is not suitable in my opinion is, I can take two more fragrances maybe, of course I have to mention this one, not suitable. Why is this not suitable? Because you will smell a little bit too obnoxious. You smell very young, you smell very sweet, uh, very vulgar. And that's the, the last thing you want to project on a job interview, that you don't uh, know what to wear and don't know what to say. And it's a little bit too, f you know, it's too much of uh, the sweetness. Another one that I would not wear is this one. Love it. And uh, what's this called? This is Valentino Umo, one of my favorite winter fragrances, but it's not suitable for the workplace. Another one that I would not wear because of the strength of it, this is Dior Sauvage Parfum. I would absolutely not wear Dior Sauvage Elixir either, because that is even stronger than this one. This one projects heavy, uh, we don't like that. And the last one that I would not wear on a job interview ever is this one. Ultra Mail from Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is also in the direction of Versace Eros. 
And the last one that I would wear is this one. This is great for job interviews. This is Aqua di Joe Profondo. You can go with Aqua di Joe Profumo as well, or of course, the original Aqua di Joe is also a fantastic job interview fragrance. Good luck out there. See you the next time. Bye bye.